Welcome back to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. Today, I've got a really nice truck for you. It's a 1997 Chevrolet C1500, or otherwise known as an OBS. This truck is very, very clean. These trucks, as you may know, have become very hot. Everybody wants an OBS truck, and there's good reasons for it. A lot of people say that the OBS truck is kind of what started the sport truck scene back in the early 90s. If you guys are old enough to remember, you remember going and buying the sport truck magazines, and every cover had an OBS truck on it, either short bed or uh, either single cab or extended cab. They always had crazy paint jobs and super crazy interiors and stereo systems and wheels. Well, these trucks have started to make a comeback and this truck is definitely one that you wanna pick up if you're wanting to modify or even leave it the way it is because it's just overall a really great truck. It's a two owner truck, Georgia. It's been in Georgia its whole life, so no major rust issues with this truck. As you can tell by the front grill here, the grill is nice and clean. The bumper is nice and clean. There's no damage. The headlights are clear, no oxidizing or anything like that on the headlights. Overall, the paint is in really good condition. You do have the bug guard here to protect against any rocks or bugs that'll be hitting the hood. The windshield is in really, really good condition. The Carfax is clean on this truck. There's no accidents reported. I really love this red and gray pinstriping that runs down the truck. It definitely splits up the, uh, the white a little bit. You've got some really nice American Racing torque thrust wheels here. They just, a classic look for this truck. They look really, really well. You do have the burgundy interior on this truck. I really feel like it fits good with the white. It kind of, you know, brings everything in. It's a good color combination. Uh, you do have your rain guards here. Super cool, super nice, especially if you want to crack the windows. AC and everything on, the, on this truck works. Cruise control, all the gauges work. You've got your moldings here still down the side of the truck. Uh, a lot of guys like to shave them. Some guys like to leave them, kind of whatever your preference is, but these are in good condition. As we step back here to the back wheel here, you will notice that you do have the uh, deep dish American Racing wheel as well. You've got good looking tail lights here. The bumper and everything on this truck is in really, really good condition. Uh, another thing that I like about this truck is the bed guards here. You know, a lot of these trucks get, get beat up here on the top. So these have had been on here since the uh, first owner had the truck. So these are nice and clean under here. If you wanted to pull them off, you'll have nice clean bed sides. You do have a bed cover here that protects the bed. I have lifted up the bed cover a little bit to see underneath it and it's in really good condition. So if you wanted to pull that out, you could do that as well. But overall, this is just a really nice truck. You do get the uh, sliding back glass, which is pretty cool. But overall, this truck is very, very nice. Another thing that I wanted to point out, just to show you how nice this truck is, if you glance in between the cab and the bed here, a lot of these trucks are super dirty in here. That's just a, you know, it's hard to get back there and clean. If Justin can get a good shot in there, you'll see how clean just uh, it is back here between the bed and the cab here. It's super, super clean. Just shows you how well this truck's been taken care of. Just a super, super nice truck. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move up front and let's check out the engine bay. All right, guys, here's the small block V8 that Chevy's famous for. This one is a 305. Um, not really a big deal to me. The 305 and the 350 wasn't a big difference in horsepower. Um, but as you can see, it's very clean on here, very well taken care of. Looks like a new AC compressor there. Um, you can tell this truck's been very well taken care of. And by just looking at the exterior of this truck and the engine bay, you would think this truck only had 50,000 miles on it. And that, that just is a testament to how well this vehicle was taken care of. Uh, older gentleman owned it. Like I said, it's a two owner truck. So this was not used as a work truck. It was an older gentleman that owned this truck and just drove it as a, his, his daily vehicle. Um, but overall, just a really nice truck. You've got cruise control, power brakes, ice cold AC, all the modern things that you like in these vehicles. Um, but overall, just a really cool truck. And these trucks just have an awesome look to them. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. All right, guys, I wanna start off on this interior talking about this bench seat. This seat looks like hardly anybody's ever sat in it. It's in great condition. You do have a little bit of wear right here on the edge, which is common sliding in and out of the truck. But overall, the material is in great condition. Your seat belts are nice and clean. The door jams are even clean. To be honest with you, to have 198,000 miles on this truck, you would think the door jams would be dirty or a little beat up. And these door jams are clean. I mean, you literally could eat off of them. Your uh, door panels here are in great condition. All your buttons for your locks and your windows and your mirror adjustments are in good, con good condition. They're not worn out or anything like that. 
Overall, the plastic's in good condition. Even the fabric here is in really good condition. Your headliner looks really nice. It's not sagging or drooping or anything like that. We'll go ahead and slide in here. One thing I like about these bench seats, they are very, very comfortable. You do get the center console here where you can rest your arm. Overall, this is just a great cruiser. And these trucks are getting to that age where they're getting to a point to where they are considered a classic. You can pull up to a car show in this truck and get tons of looks. Ask me how I know, because I have one. Um, one thing that I do like, you do have a storage compartment here. You can put some stuff in here, you know, whatever that is that you want to carry with you daily. Um, overall, the steering wheel is in great condition. All the gauges on this uh, cluster work, you know, these trucks have kind of been notorious for having some faulty gauges, but everything on this truck on the gauges work properly. Um, no check engine lights. Your dash is in great condition. The plastic on these dashes are kind of notorious for cracking, um, but this one's overall in really good condition. You can definitely tell this one was garage kept. Um, but overall, guys, this truck is not much to complain about. Everything's in really good condition. It works as it should. Ice cold AC, radio works. Um, overall though, just an excellent truck and is ready to just be driven and enjoyed. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take this one for a drive, guys. All right, guys, we're in the 1997 OBS, taking it for a drive. This is such a good driving truck. The uh, gentleman we bought this truck from redid the whole front suspension with Belltech shocks, brand new control arms. So everything on the front end is pretty much brand new. This truck drives very well, drives nice and straight. Um, overall, not very bumpy. And a lot of people think, you know, because the vehicle's lowered, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. This truck still rides really good, but has a really good stance to it as well. We have the AC going right now, feels very good. It's blowing ice cold. As Justin can show over here, all the gauges on this truck are working. So your oil pressure, your fuel gauge, none of the needles are bouncing or jumping like they're notorious for. Overall, everything on this truck is super nice from everything from the exterior to the interior, to the engine bay, to the way this thing drops. This truck is a super nice truck. And it's very hard to find these trucks in good condition because a lot of these trucks were used as work trucks. The single cab trucks were used to be worked in. Um, so it's very hard to find one in this kind of shape. But this is a very nice truck that's had the right modifications done to it. And these trucks are only increasing in value. So if you want one of these, I would definitely jump on it now before they become even more expensive. Uh, but this one is available. And if you're interested, you can give us a call at 770-738 seven one 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 or you can find it on our website at collectiblemotorcaroofatlanta.com also if you guys like these videos please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel every new piece of inventory that we get in we do videos on so we'll be constantly rolling out videos on all the new inventory and you'll be able to catch up on all that through our youtube channel All right, guys, if you're interested in this amazing 1997 Chevrolet C1500, or otherwise known as the OBS, the old body style, please give us a call at 770-738-7111. You can see this truck in detail on our website at collectiblemotorcaroofatlanta.com. If you need financing or shipping, we can handle that as well. It's hassle-free to get this truck in your driveway, so don't hesitate to call today.